Once you leave the hospital, there are some important things you need to know so you can take care of yourself. This includes the following. Wear your mask to appointments and any time you are around many people. Check your temperature at least two times a day, once in the morning and again before bedtime. Wash your hands with soap and water or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Hand washing is one way to prevent infection. Wash your hands after you use the bathroom, before you eat, and often throughout the day. Do not wear gloves. Screen visitors to make sure they are well and do not have a fever, cough, or sore throat. Drink at least six to eight cups or one and a half to two liters of fluids each day, such as water, sports drinks such as Gatorade or Powerade, juices, lemonade, or nutrition drinks such as Boost, Breeze, or Ensure. Limit caffeine intake and do not drink alcohol. Eat foods high in protein, such as peanut butter and cheese, to help you recover your strength and continue to heal. Continue your regular diet, including raw fruits and vegetables. Raw fruits and vegetables should be washed under running water, peeled, and cooked or dried. However, do not eat or drink grapefruit or pomegranate fruit or juice. These can affect drug levels and cause harm. Ask your outpatient care team if you have questions about your blood count levels. Do activity, such as walking, and stay out of bed as much as possible during the day. Shower and change your clothes every day. Use an antibacterial soap with moisturizer if your skin is dry. You may shampoo your hair every day, but use a cream conditioner since your hair may be dry and brittle. Apply moisturizer to your skin after bathing. Limit sun exposure. Chemotherapy causes skin to become more sensitive to the sun. Use a sunscreen with SPF 45 or higher, wear hat, sunglasses, and wear lightweight garments that keep your arms and legs protected from the sun. Apply sunscreen often. Sexual intimacy, such as kissing, hugging, and sexual intercourse, is a normal part of the recovery process. As long as you have an absolute neutrophil count of at least 2,000, and a platelet count of at least 50,000, it is safe for you to have sex. Safe sex practices are important. Use a water-based lubricant if needed to help reduce friction that could lead to bleeding during intercourse. Some patients may feel less desire for sex or have other concerns. For example, many women have vaginal dryness after high-dose chemotherapy. There are remedies, such as hormone replacement, that can help. If you have questions or concerns about sexual intimacy, talk with your outpatient care team for more information. Even though your white blood cell count will be close to normal when you leave the hospital, you are still at risk for infection. Try to stay healthy by following these guidelines. Wear a mask for outpatient visits when you come to MD Anderson and when you are around crowds. Stay away from sick people and crowds. It is okay to go places, but try to go when it is less crowded and wear your mask. For example, if you wish to attend religious services, try to go at a time when fewer people attend services. Avoid children and people who have received a live vaccine for polio, measles, rubella, or chickenpox in the past six to eight weeks. Do not change diapers. You do not need to wear gloves, but you must wash your hands often or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Wash your hands before taking off the mask. Your family and caregiver do not need to wear masks around you as long as they do not have symptoms of illness, such as a cough, runny nose, fever, sneezing, or sore throat. Do not take medicines like Tylenol, Ibuprofen, Aleve, Advil, Naproxen, or Aspirin without your doctor's approval, as these medicines may mask a fever. Do not drink alcohol, smoke, chew tobacco, or use any other substance. These can increase your risk of infection, such as pneumonia, fungal infections, and scarring of the lungs. Doing so can also interact with your prescribed medicines and have harmful effects. It is okay to have fresh plants or flowers in your home. However, for at least six months after your transplant, do not do any yard work or work in the garden because there are many organisms in soil that can lead to infection in someone who has a weak immune system. Do not go to a zoo and limit your contact with household pets. Do not handle pet litter boxes or bird cages. While you still have your CBC and take immunosuppressive medicines, do not swim in a public or private pool, use a hot tub, or take part in water activities. 
Wash your hands before preparing meals. Defrost food in the refrigerator or microwave and do not leave anything out on the counter to thaw. Food must be cooked very well to at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit to kill any harmful bacteria. You may eat at restaurants, but do not eat at buffet-style restaurants or salad bars. Do not eat raw, rare, or undercooked seafood, meat, or eggs. Avoid unpasteurized foods and drinks, such as milk, cheese and cheese-containing molds, yogurt, fruit, vegetable juices and honey, and raw vegetable sprouts, berries, and nuts.